Hello, welcome back to The Happy Heart. I'm Neil. Uh, thanks for clicking on this video because today I'm going to be unboxing this. It's the Palouse Aluminium Alloy Protective Cage for GoPro Hero 5. Uh, and here is my GoPro Hero 5. So it looks like everything's in a bag. I don't know how to pronounce this. Pullers? Pulous? I'm going to call it Pulous. And wow, it's all in here. There's a little baggie of items, which I'll open for you. I went for the one with the frame on the back. I just had visions of my GoPro flying out because I tightened this. And I'm, I'm worried about tightening this too much as well to um, damage the camera. Look on the front it says for Hero 6 or 5. So this could be for the GoPro Hero 6 as well. They've just changed the label. It comes with a 52 millimeter UV filter with a lens cap and that cap comes off like most lens caps do. And then I guess this unscrews. There's the filter. I'll take out the foam, foam, middle, and take off the back. And the back comes up and it comes right off as well and there's a ball joint thing that um, holds it in place with that dent in the in the back cover there on this gopro on the on another video i'll put the link in the description and if you click on i you'll be able to see it as well but i put the i put a glass screen protector on the front and back that they are screen protector if you want to watch that video there's a link below and all of these videos are in a gopro hero 5 black playlist that i'm making um, but i only mention it now because um i don't think it will but it's, there's obviously a little bit extra on the lens and on the screen i'm sure it won't affect how it fits but i just thought i'd mention it as well as plugging the video all right so that slots in really nicely and then I guess you slide down the back cover. You have to kind of clip it in fairly dead straight. And I've got to say with the screen protector on, it is a little snug. And then you hold it in place by turning that. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know if you can see in there, you, you can see the pad coming to place and it, that feels really, really sturdy. Unscrew it, that's the only thing I'm worried about. I just don't want to dent the side of my gorgeous device. I've decided to screw this on onto the furthest outside thread and then underneath, there's a tripod thread there already which you could use and put on a, a tripod, but I'm going to use the GoPro mount. So that's on securely, both of them. Then the GoPro goes in here. If you do this before you put the back door on, you can actually see the, the pusher here coming into play so you don't make so much of a dent. On the GoPro, there's like a plastic, flat plastic bed that spreads the, the grip and that feels nice and tight. Oh man, but I can't put this on. <laughs> I've put it on the wrong way. So we twist that around. One last turn, ka -ching. And then the back goes on like this. It's really fiddly though. So what's, oh man, so what's happened now is that it has totally pushed off my screen protector. Right, I've slid that back into place. Okay, so the trick is this, is to push down the ball with the back door to slide it on. Also I had this unscrewed so that the GoPro had a little bit of give so that the screen, wouldn't, screen protector wouldn't come off. But now if I just get one final push, it's just clearing that, that little ball joint thing there. Click, there we go. 
let's bring the camera to the shade so that you can see that the screen itself is still really accessible. Now I've got a screen protector and this back door and it looks like I can still flick from the left and the right and the top. Let me show you this, I don't know if it comes across on the video. Yeah, there you go. Can you see this frame and my Dayard screen protector are not getting along very well at all. Uh, there's a little bubble appearing and it is, this is the hottest day in the UK. This is our summer today, this one day. I, I'm hoping that it's just the heat and it's just brought up a, a bubble but the screen protector does not like being in this frame at all. Yeah, when I take the back off, the bubble rubs out really easily. And I couldn't do that with the back on. That's how it looks. So that's it, that's how the Pulu's unboxing and a bit of a how-to uh, went down. Um, if you've got this far into the video, I'm assuming that you're quite interested in this frame uh, with the back. There's a link in the description. If it has been helpful, it would be lovely if you could just send a little signal to me by clicking a thumbs up. It just lets me know that someone, somebody somewhere got to this part of the video. And if you've got any questions, um, uh, I'm not sure how much help I'll be, but I'd, it'd be lovely to hear from you in the comments below. And there's one really big thing you can do to help me. Uh, YouTube um, has suddenly got not very nice with people making videos if they have fewer than a thousand subscribers. So if you hit the subscribe button, uh, that really helps me get us closer to the hallowed 1000 subscriber mark. I don't think I'll ever hit it, but you can help me get closer to it by clicking on subscribe below if you do I really appreciate that it's very kind of you you might also if you've got this far into the video you might also want to click on the the playlist if you click on the i in the corner of the screen or in the link in the description i'll put all of my gopro hero 5 black videos there uh, so i hope this helps and thanks for watching and good luck with your purchase if anything bad happens with this i'll put it in the description uh, but otherwise good luck with your purchase and uh, good luck with your vlogging setup as well thanks can you please help my daddy get 1000 subscribers just click on his face thanks bye